Okay, friends, I'm going to take the opportunity in this video to show you exactly how Franco Harris's death, three days before the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception, is tied to Kamala Harris becoming president. All right. The first and most obvious thing here that I'm just going to go straight to is that Franco Harris has the same last name as Kamala Harris. Okay? So there's your first connection. It's that simple to start. But then I'm going to show you just how crazy this gets. All right? So Kamala Harris and Franco Harris. All right? Kamala Harris would be the first female president. It's all about the divine feminine, the feminine, like Mother Mary. Remember, Franco Harris is famous for making the catch in 1972, December 23rd, called the Immaculate Reception, which is a play on words to the Virgin Mary when she has her Immaculate Conception of the Christ. And this being part of the golden birth, the golden ratio, the perfect child, right? The perfect woman having the perfect child. We just had the queen die, and now we're going to get a king, and this is all tied to that, too. It's all tied to the queen being replaced by the son, the king, all right? So let's, um, let's go through this story so you guys understand what I'm talking about, all right? So Franco Harris makes the Immaculate Reception, as you see here, December 23rd, 1972, two days before Christmas, Okay, And Christmas is all about the birth of Christ, the Immaculate Conception, and he makes the Immaculate Reception. Do you see? It's just an easy, easy, easy ritual to see. All right? And 50 years later, three days before the 50th anniversary of that, he dies. He dies on December 20th, 2022, so only five days ago. He dies three days before the 50th anniversary of of his immaculate reception, all right? So I want you guys to remember the 72, because again, Franco Harris died at 72. He made the immaculate reception in 1972, okay? And he made this, he died three days before the 50th anniversary. And I want you to remember the numbers 72, 50 as we go through here, but there's going to be some more numbers as well. But a day before he died, he was on a podcast. Here's the issue. You can see it right here. It was on Cameron Hayward, who's, who's a current player for the Steelers. He was on his podcast. And he was talking about how they were getting ready to retire his number, number 32, which, which Franco Harris wore, for the 50th anniversary. So Franco Harris dies literally the same week they're getting ready to retire his number for the Immaculate Reception. And they're playing the same team they played when he made the reception. When he made the reception in 1972, it was against the Oakland Raiders. Okay, And 50 years later, before the anniversary, they're going to retire his number in the game against the Raiders. Of course, they're now in Las Vegas, which also has a lot of symbolic meaning here because Las Vegas is Sin City. Okay. And again, the virgin the virgin Mary was all about being a perfect and without sin. That's what the immaculate conception's about. And now Las Vegas is in Sin City. And when he made this catch against in, against the Raiders, they were in Oakland, which is Kamala Harris's hometown, guys. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. But anyways, I just wanted to point out that he was on Cameron Hayward and what's interesting about this player is he has a brother on the team, too. There's two Haywards on the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. And in this game, Cameron Hayward leads the team out on the field with the number 32, which is Franco Harris's number, because he just did a podcast with him the day before when he was alive. And then he dies just suddenly, right before they retire his number, and then it makes the perfect story for him to come out with this number 32 when he just interviewed him 
you know, when he just interviewed him the day before, okay? But what's crazy about this, guys, is that not only did Cameron Hayward come out with the flag and lead the team out, his brother named Connor Hayward finished the game off with the last play of the game, right here. Connor Hayward punctuates the Steelers' win with a 21-yard run. So you have the one brother coming out with the flag to lead the team out, paying the respects to the Immaculate Conception and Franco Harris. And then you have the brother literally running the last play of the game to end the game. What a script. If people are, don't wake up to this, no, they're not going to wake up. Let's just put it that way. Now let's jump into the numbers, guys. So as I told you before, Franco Harris died at 72 years old. 50 de- uh, three days before the 50th anniversary of his Immaculate Reception. The Immaculate Reception was in 1972. Okay, so he dies at 72. He made the reception in 1972. But here's how it ties to Kamala Harris, guys. Kamala Harris was born on October 20th, 1964. All right? And October 20th, 1964 was the day leaving 72 days left in the year. All right, so again, I just told you they had the same last name, Harris, but now Franco Harris is tied to the number 72. And I'm going to show you why the 72 is important here when it comes to a childbirth. But so Kamala Harris is born on the day with 72 days left in the year. You guys can see down here at the bottom, October 20th is the day leaving 72 days left in the year. Not only that, this year, Kamala Harris's birthday had 72 date numerology. So on the bottom, guys, on the right side, you're going to see the top part where it says 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 22. That was Kamala Harris's 2022 birthday. When you add that up, 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 22 equals 72. All right. And again, she was born on the day leaving 72 days left in the year. What are the chances? Okay. So again, back to the 72. He dies at 72. All right. He made the reception in 1972. Kamala Harris was born on the day leaving 72. This year, her birthday had 72 date numerology. And Cameron Hayward, the guy who interviewed Franco Harris the one day before he died, has a two 72s in his gematria. And he matches the golden ratio in all four ciphers. And this is where the key comes in, guys. The golden ratio is the mathematical golden ratio, phi. Okay? 1.618, the golden ratio. But when you type the phrase, the golden ratio, you get 72 in two ciphers. Just like Cameron Hayward, who has 72 in two ciphers, and he interviewed the 72-year-old but one day before he died about a, a catch he made in 1972. All right. And it's no coincidence that Cameron Hayward is a direct match in all four ciphers to the golden ratio. It's about childbirth, the golden child, which is Jesus. Okay. And again, what do the Steelers wear? They wear gold or yellow. I mean, essentially the same thing, but It's crazy, guys. It's absolutely crazy. Now, if that wasn't enough, I told you, Kamala Harris was born on October 20th, 1964, okay? And if you add the date numerology of that up, you're going to get 10 plus 20 plus 19 plus 64 equals 113. Steelers equals 113 and 50. And the day that Kamala Harris was born had two date numerologies of 113 and 50. As you can see here at the top, this is her exact birthday in 1964. It had date numerologies of 113 and 50. And it matches the Steelers, 113 and 50. Not only that, if you take her middle and last name, it equals 113. And don't forget, Pittsburgh, just like Steelers, also equals 50. All right? So again... Uh, that's, there's no denying this. Absolutely no denying it. And the reason I, I used her name, Debbie Harris, is because her middle name is really important here. Because her middle name ties her to Mother 
Mary, because her middle name means goddess. In Sanskrit, Devi means goddess, which ties to the Immaculate Reception. All right? And the Virgin Mary literally being a god, a goddess in the Roman Catholic religion, in my opinion. I mean, they pray to her. So the fact that Kamala's middle name is Devi, which means goddess. Now, what happens if you take Kamala's middle name, Devi, and you replace it with what it means, which is goddess, and you type out Kamala Goddess Harris? It equals Immaculate Conception 328. You see what I mean? Now, not only does that match happen there, but if you type in Immaculate Conception and you just type in Kamala Harris, it equals 212 and 86, just like Immaculate Conception. Kamala Harris also equals 112, like Immaculate Conception. So it has a three-cipher match. Her name has a three-cipher match to Immaculate Conception. All right? Also, notice that Kamala Harris equals 86. Immaculate Conception equals 86. January 13th, which is a number I've been talking about. Remember, January 13th can be written 113. All right? And I just showed you two back here that Devi Harris equals 113. Steelers equal 113. She was born on date numerology of 113. Okay? And... If you go from her last birthday, which had 72 date numerology, remember all the 72s I just told you about, to January 13th, which is 113, it's 86 days, just like Immaculate Conception equals 86, Kamala Harris equals 86. Okay? So yes, I'm throwing out the date January 13th, which is a Friday the 13th, guys. It's a Friday the 13th. Okay? And if you measure from the day that is the Byzantine day to observe this uh, Immaculate Conception, because it says here, the Immaculate Conception is the belief that Virgin Mary was free of original sin from the moment of her conception. Notice they celebrate this on December 8th and December 9th. Well, if you measure from December 9th, the last time they celebrated it, to December th or to January 13th, the day I just showed you with the 113, it's 35 days, and the word immaculate equals 35. And Christmas is the day that we celebrate the birth of Christ. And December 25th is written 1225, and that's the 35th square. And remember, Catholic equals 35 also. It's not here, but it, Catholic does equal 35. So what's the chances from the day they celebrate this to January, Friday the 13th, guys? Remember, it's Friday the 13th. It's 35 days, which immaculate equals 35, and it ties to Christmas, because it's the 35th square, okay? If that wasn't enough, I told you guys, when Franco Harris makes the reception in 1972, he does it against the Oakland Raiders. Kamala Harris is literally from Oakland, okay? She's from the same city he makes this catch against in 1972, okay? Notice that Oakland equals uh, Oakland, California equals 345. President Kamala Harris equals 345. Okay? And the Golden Gate Bridge, which again goes back to the child, the golden child. But this is a bridge that's near Oakland, right? The Golden Gate Bridge. I think there might be something happen with this bridge sometime this year. Okay? Because notice that the Golden Gate Bridge, President Kamala Harris, and the Pittsburgh Steelers all have a 96. And Pittsburgh, they're known for the stealing companies that help build these bridges. Okay? This Golden Gate Bridge has a huge connection to Pittsburgh. And remember, Kamala Harris is from Oakland, right next to where the bridge is at. Okay? And notice, guys, not only did... Franco Harris make his immaculate reception in 1972 against the Oakland Raiders. The game that they just played right after Franco died was against the Raiders, but now they're in Las Vegas. And look at the score, guys. It's 1-1-3. One, one, I just showed you 1-1-3. One, one, Notice that the Las Vegas Raiders equals 1-1-3. One, one, Friday the 13th. Okay? 
I hope you guys got that. I was trying to be straight to the point. And yeah, so hope you guys had a great Christmas. And I'll see you in the next one.